And welcome back. Thanks for joining us for the second half hour of News 4 Nightly. We have team coverage tonight. Two wildfires burning in our region. Let's go first to News 4's Brett Forrest. He is down near Carson City following the fire there. It broke out less than two hours ago. And Brett, from the looks of things, if you can hear me, it looks like that fire is really taking off. Joe, I can't hear you. It is quite windy down here, which is making for nightmarish fire conditions. But you can see part of the fire behind me. The flames keep whipping up. It is moving fast, and that's due to the winds and the dry conditions here. And we're, we believe this might be the head of the fire. It's hard to tell at this point. We don't have too much information yet. But we've been watching these flames just travel up this hill in a matter of seconds. The Firefighter crews are right up here. Uh, evacuation orders are in place in this neighborhood. I've seen families rushing out of their homes, carrying whatever they can. And I still see some folks from their porch right now taking photos of the fire despite these evacuation orders in place. But these flames are burning fast and they're burning, burning thoroughly. I, the brush that was just right here is already gone from how high these flames are getting. The flames are getting maybe 10, 15 feet in the air. So it is constantly changing conditions with the wind. It is a dangerous spot to be, so we won't be staying here too much longer. But you can see the crews now going into the brush, trying to tackle these flames as they're going up closer towards the Carson City area, uh, Douglas County area, where we have Target and Home Depot, if, if you know the geography down here. So these flames are threatening homes down here and they also are getting closer to that residential district so it is a dangerous situation but multiple fire agencies are here on scene including federal and local doing all they can to fight these flames so we'll keep an eye on it but from a safe distance so i'll throw it back to you guys i'm brett forrest reporting live news four on your side all right, thanks, Brett. Be safe. We will check in with you uh, hopefully later in the newscast and get an update. He's in Jack's Valley Road area that is just south of Carson City, just to give you a better idea down there. 